Hi, this is Charu from Embody Tantra. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about what is Tantra exactly. A lot of people are put off by doing anything in the Tantra realm because they're afraid that Tantra is something for weirdos or airy-fairy or only super-duper spiritual people do it. And really, I feel like I'm here to demystify Tantra and make it a little bit more human. So the very first thing that I say to people about Tantra is whatever you've heard, it's not all about sex. Now I know you're probably pretty bummed out, depending on who you are. You may be bummed out by hearing that. Um, the truth about Tantra is that it's actually a path of meditation. And what sets it apart from other paths of meditation is that a lot of paths are based on transcendence. They're based on transcending the body, transcending the senses, in order to have an experience of the divine. And we find that in a lot of our religions, a lot of our meditative practices that are available in the world today. And what Tantra does is it says, why don't we use the body? Let's use the senses, use everything that we've been given in this life as a human being in order to experience life more fully. And the second thing that I say to people about Tantra is that whatever you've heard, it's absolutely 100% all about sex. <laughs> so the reason for that is because everything in life is divided essentially into two parts, yin and yang, black and white, masculine and feminine. And anytime those two seemingly opposites come together in and are united, there is a click, there's an opening for a lot of energy to run through, or a possibility for understanding something more deeply. So one of the easiest ways that we can access this and understand it, certainly not the only way, but one of the easiest ways is when a man and a woman come together in lovemaking, which is essentially plugging in. Um, and just like a wall plugs into the socket, energy runs through. The same thing happens when man and woman come together. There's a doorway that opens. Now, this masculine and feminine energy is running in each and every one of us in our own bodies. So we can actually experience that union inside of ourselves without a partner. You can also experience this kind of union and this kind of energy flowing with same-sex partners. Well, for now, for simplicity's sake, we'll talk a little bit about how it's the union of the man and the woman, and when they come together, that this energy flows. It's one of the easiest ways that we can see it. So in Tantra, we don't look at sex as the only thing that's a transcendent experience. The way we look at it is that sex is actually the first rung on a ladder. Let's say ladder leads up to the divine. So. What in the world does that mean? Take a ladder to the divine. Well, one of the main ideas of Tantra, not that Tantra really has any ideas, um, which is a whole other story, and I'll do another video about that, but one of the things about Tantric meditation is that the idea is that in this moment, there is a possibility for great peace, great understanding, and you may call it an experience of our divinity. And again, use these words if they click for you, if they don't, drop them. It's really simply all about your experience. And the idea is that when I have a free flow of energy flowing through my body, I can experience a blissful state. And Again, we come back to the lovemaking and we say, well, for some of us, and certainly not all of us, what's the easiest way for me to experience a blissful state as I am as a human being right now? Well, in lovemaking, for some of us. Now, some of us haven't even experienced that yet, and that's okay too. Um, but if that is a place that you have some understanding, wow, there's something really great about being a human being, um, 
even if you haven't experienced it, you might have an inner knowing that there's something really great that can happen between two people when you come together in lovemaking that opens the doorway for, wow, bliss is available to me. And so what if you could have a greater understanding of how to open up to that bliss in your body and from there start to bring it and bleed it into every aspect of your life. So ultimately, Tantra is a pathway to leading a blissful life. And the only thing that's required is that you learn how to be present to your body, present to the messages that your body is giving you in every moment. So how does Tantra do that? How does Tantra help you to get present to the messages of the body? Well, in Tantra, there's a collection of what I call meditations, what you can call exercises, to keep it really simple, which are ways that you can reconnect and resensitize your body. And these exercises include breathing, different breathing patterns, movement, something like yoga, something like exercise, sound, making different sounds. Sometimes they can include communication techniques. And what is used is a combination of all these things to start to get you more in touch with your body. So you have some really simple, really core tools, which is all Tantra is. It's just a collection of these tools to use to better come in tune with what brings you to that peace, what brings you to that sweetness, and what brings you to that intimacy first with yourself in this life, in every day, in every moment. Check my website, embodytantra.com, for more articles and upcoming workshops and classes about Tantra. And I look forward to sharing more of my love for Tantra with you.